stage monitors versus in-ear monitors. Hey gang, welcome to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy where the proof is in the singing. I'm not expecting to get a lot of views out of this one because it's very obscure, but I have got a lot of requests for this. So hopefully this will help you guys wanna you know, decide whether you wanna stick with front wedges and side fills uh, or in ears or maybe a combination of both. Now, I've used them both for a lot of years and I've done a lot of singing folks live. I'm a wedge guy. I like loud stage volume. I like it coming at me. I like feeling like I'm connecting with my audience, though there is tremendous merit and value to in-ear for lots of reasons. Let me break them both down for you. The first thing is, when you have a lot of loud wedges on stage, uh, it's really loud and it's really hard for the engineer to get a good mix. Um, a lot of times, your volume that you like in one section of the stage might not be what the guitar player likes or his volume of his guitar may not be what you like when you go to his side of the stage. And so you're constantly fighting with everybody in the stage who's louder, I can't hear myself. And then there's a tendency to blow your voice out because you can't hear yourself and so forth. So um, the in-ears on the other hand, and I've used a lot of in-ears, is I feel, it, by let's say, let's say there's no stage wedges or side fills, okay? When I use in-ears only, I feel a tremendous disconnect to the audience. It's weird, it's almost like, on your, you're on TV or something. It's just like the strangest thing. I don't, I don't feel that ambience of the room and the energy, the RL energy of the room. Uh, so I just feel really disconnected. So I have morphed both, but, but wait, sorry. So, but the in-ears have a lot more precision for the mix that I wanna hear, the, the, the volume that I wanna hear it at, and gives me better pitch, you know, the ability to hear better pitch and all kinds of things like that. Now. Though, because this disconnect and everything, it's like, okay, so I'm, I'm you know, sacrificing this intimacy with the audience and the connection with the audience because I have in-ears. So what I kind of like to do is I like to get an even level of an, a realistic, not a blister, because I love ear bleedingly loud wedges when I sing. In fact, here's another one for you. I'll trick the sound. <laughs> I hope there's no sound man out there that I've used or I'm gonna use in the future. Um, I will trick the sound man and I'll deliberately sing kind of light. I use headsets a lot, but light into the microphone. So he'll turn it up a certain volume for me. So when I lean into it, I kind of have about a 30% threshold of even more volume when I want it. Um, and he doesn't know that and he gets pissed off because then he takes the trim of the monitor and I'm distorting the mixing console. You know, there's all this fighting back and forth. But I do that because I wanna make sure I have absolutely enough to get me through and if there's a loud guitar player, a loud drummer with cymbals, I know that I've got all I need, okay? So, <laughs> but aside from that, I, so I like really loud wedges, but it's terrible for your ears over time, of course. You'll lose your hearing like many rock stars have done. But what, what happens is, is that if you have just enough mix, a lot of good uh, wedges that are evening out the stage where you can go, if you go way over on that side of the stage, you can hear way over on that side, somewhere in the middle, depending on how big your stage is. I've you know, played on a lot of big stages and small stages, and that makes a big difference. Um, but also too, if it's a closed room and the room is really echoey, and, and depending on how many people are in the room that absorb sound, but there's all these elements that happen, or big, big arenas. Now here's what's weird about the arena part. When you have your in-ears, this is really weird. There's a weird delay that happens between your in-ears and distance, okay? So depending on the distance, and I've played in 30,000 you know, seat arenas or you know, outdoor stadiums and stuff, where all of a sudden, your disconnect is so delayed from the main PA, you're getting it faster in your ears than what's coming off. And so there's this slap back and it's really confusing. So if you watch like Dimash and some of these guys and you see them constantly taking their in-ears out, well, it just depends on what part of the song they're singing, why they're doing that. But oftentimes it's because there's a funkiness that's happening between the room sound and what you're hearing in your ears. That's one thing. But the other thing is too, when you're in a higher registration and you're singing really high, the volume, unless you have a good compressor on that, and that can also be funky, but if you put a good compressor in, there's one thing. Most people don't do that. So when you're singing really loud, it's like in your ears, and you can't even handle it. You gotta take one ear out or you know whatever because it's too loud in your in ears. Or when you're singing really low, you wanna have the suckers tucked in because when you sing in a lower volume, it's harder to hear your pitch. So I didn't really answer your question yet, but I'm going to. Which is better, in ears or wedges or inside fills? Both. They're both good. I still prefer live sound because I'm an old school guy and I like really loud everything and it really helps me. And live monitors, live wedges and side fills 
give you the swirling effect of the whole room having kind of all about the same sound. So you can always kind of rely that what I'm hearing, not always, but what I'm hearing and what the audience is hearing is kind of in the ballpark of, uh, you know, of what you want to be able to, to listen for intonation and volume and, you know, intimacy and all that. In ears, on the other hand, you have no idea, but you get a lot more precision. So wear some in ears, good ones. Don't tuck them all the way in your ears to where that's all you hear. Do about halfway, get a good rounded, uh, you know, wedge side fill mix, and then have in ears to augment that. So you can kind of tuck, push them in a little bit, pull them out a little bit throughout your show, depending on a loud, fast song or an acoustic song that's really intimate, you have total command and control. That is what I would do. Hopefully this was helpful. God bless you guys and definitely check out my next video.